Today, we are in for a treat. We are getting to go inside Sean Davis's home in our first RBNY Cribs, and we have Wells Fargo to thank for connecting us with you. We hope that you and your loved ones are staying safe and healthy during this difficult time. Fans, please mute your microphones and use the chat function down below to ask Sean questions as we go. Keep in mind, this series will be recorded. Now, I will pass it over to your New York Red Bulls captain, Sean Davis. Take it away, Sean. Can to go, sir? What's up, guys? This is Sean Davis, midfielder for the New York Red Bulls. Thank you for joining us today for our first ever virtual player appearance. Bear with us, this is all new. You know, obviously the world is in a much different place than it was just a month ago. But my goal is to make this as fun as possible, as light as possible, help distract us from what's going out there and ultimately just have all of us enjoy, uh, hopefully a, a good hour together. So why don't we get started with my Cribs tour. If you come this way, uh, I'm in Jersey City, which is a little bit far from the training facility, but very close to New York City. Uh, I personally love the area. There's so much to do, there's nightlife. There's food. Uh, a lot of my friends and teammates live here, so we carpool the training. Um, but this is an area that I've lived in for three or four years now. I've changed apartments several times, um, but just want to show you around and give you a quick tour. So what I want to start with is my Adidas shoe collection. I've been an Adidas athlete for six years now. Uh, I'm obsessed with their shoes. I'm obsessed with uh, you know pretty much everything they drop. I'm really fortunate to be working with them. Um, and I picked out a few pairs that I think you guys might like. At least they're my favorites. So we'll start here. Why don't you give them a view? Uh, these are my Yeezys. Um, you know, a very basic pair to start off with. Uh, triple white Yeezys. Um, this is a pair that I, I wear all the time in the summer. I have a few of these uh, that I really enjoy wearing. They're very versatile, very comfortable as well. Something that's not always talked about with Yeezy products. Uh, then I got the Alexander Wang B-Ball versions. Uh, I love high tops, so these are ones that I wear a lot in the colder months when I'm wearing jeans. You know, if I'm going to the stadium, need to dress up a little, I'll always uh, wear these. Um, so this is definitely uh, one of my other favorite pairs. And then a classic, Ultra Boost. And these are, are ones that I'd recommend to anyone. These are my all black ones, triple black. Uh, I love these ones because they don't get dirty. Um, you know, you can wear them so many different places, whether you're going out with friends, whether you're doing a workout, um, this is a pair uh, that I have a few uh, sets of. Um, but yeah, if you wanna give them a, a look at all the shoes that I've been collecting over the years, I've had to get rid of a few pairs, but these are shoes that uh, you know I love, they're my favorites, and I try to rotate and wear as many as possible. So I'd like to thank Adidas for that. They've really hooked me up over the years. Uh, as you can see here, this is my bike, um, my electric bike that I got from Ariel Rider. Uh, it's something that I ride all the time just because, you know, in Jersey City, it's not always easy to get around. You can't really take your car to many places, um, but bike makes it super easy for that. It's also great to take to New York City, get to explore different areas uh, with my friends, with my girlfriend. And so, uh, you know, that's another thing that I really enjoy. So the way that this is all going to work is, you know, we'll go through different sections. We'll also have a Q&A portion. Um, you know, I have my another phone that, that's going to give me the questions. So I'd love to answer a few questions now that we're here. Let me just grab the phone. So what's going to happen is Red Bull will send me te uh, texts. Fans will shoot in questions, and then I'll do my best to answer them. And obviously keep them appropriate, but hopefully we can get to a bunch of your questions. Uh, so my first question uh, that I've gotten so far was what shows I've been uh, watching during quarantine. I'll get to that a little bit later. I've also gotten questions about my favorite recipes, um, but we'll get to that later when I get to the kitchen. But keep moving along here. If we take just a couple steps back, and I apologize if the connection's not the best, but we test ran everything and hopefully this works. So over here, you're standing in my home gym. This is obviously a tough time to be working out. Um, but what I like to do personally, uh, you know, I love to have a routine. So actually I'm using this time to wake up earlier than ever. Uh, I wake up around 6 a.m. It allows me to work out, avoid contact uh, with as many people as possible, and also enjoy the sunrise that we get um, in the Jersey City area, something that I'm not able to do during the season. So like I said, I like to work out. I like to run early in the morning, and then I come right back here to my home gym. So I have a pull-up bar, luckily, that I had from home um, that I was able to grab before all this started. 
I have a set of dumbbells as well. Uh, I have a kettlebell, uh, which I love, and I have an ab roller. So you can see that that's pretty much everything that I could possibly need as a, as a footballer, as a soccer player. Um, you know, I have my routines. There's so many different exercises that I can get done in this small space. So that just goes to show you that you don't, you don't need too much um, to get some work in. So again, I, I like to work out in the morning, get it out of the way, and then it gives me uh, the rest of the day um, to get some stuff done. So outside of that, uh, we'll leave the home gym, we'll head into the kitchen. Keep those questions coming in. So this is the kitchen. I personally love to cook. Um, my girlfriend and I, we cook basically every single night. Uh, we rarely eat out. Um, one of my favorite stores, especially right now, is Costco. Uh, so I'll get to that in a little bit. But uh, yeah, we cook pretty much everything. Um, you know, different proteins like fish, uh, red meat, chicken, um, even veggie burgers. At times, we try to keep things fresh. We rotate through, uh, you know, a lot of different uh, recipes. So. If you come on over here, you'll see, I'll tell, I'll tell you a little bit about my, you know, uh, health hacks. I love biohacking. I love any little edge I can get that I think improves, um, you know, how I'm feeling. And so one of the things I do when I first wake up, um, I have some apple cider vinegar. It's supposedly really good for your gut bacteria. So I'll start the day off with that. It's especially good on, a, on an empty stomach. Um, and then from there, you know, we love coffee. And so we have an espresso machine, but Lately, we've gotten into the French press. We got our French press over here. Uh, you know, we're very, we're amateurs. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. So we're, we're learning as we go here. We got the ground coffee. It's not the best, it's a little too fine. Um, but we do have a coffee grinder on the way and then we'll, you know, be working with whole bean coffee um, to get really legit in my eyes. But if anyone ever has coffee recommendations, you know, their favorite way to serve coffee, um, different, you know, beans that they like, anything um, that you think would help expand my knowledge of coffee, that's very welcomed. And you can shoot me that on Instagram or Twitter, um, any social media platform. Uh, but moving along, let's see what else we got. So cacao powder is something that I really like as well. Um, you know, this is great for after dinner. For those with a sweet tooth like myself, you know, I love chocolate, uh, but I try not to eat it during the season. I try to stay as healthy as possible. This gives you that uh, kind of chocolatey taste, but it's also great for inflammation. So I try to have this before, uh, you know, after dinner, before I'm going to bed. Um, you know, I love Greek yogurt. I, I try to have plain, plain yogurt, um, but you know, we all need sweetness. So I use monk fruit sweetener. It comes from Southeast Asia, I believe, um, but it has some good antioxidant properties in it. So this is a good sugar substitute. Um, for those of you who don't know, which is probably most people, uh, I recently uh, partnered with Clean um, Nutrition. And so one of the things I love to take uh, instead of regular protein is, is collagen, which is great for you know not only your muscles, but your skin, your hair, um, pretty much everything. So I love to take this after workouts uh, versus you know regular whey. And this is, you know, collagen is also something that you can find in, in bone broth. Um, I also love um, vitamin D right now. A fun fact is we got our blood work done last season and, you know, we're soccer players. We're outside all the time. We're out in the sun all the time. And still I was deficient in, in vitamin D. So I think that's a, a common trend throughout our team and throughout the general public. And especially in times like this, when you want to keep your immune system strong, I think vitamin D is a, is a really good answer. Uh, but outside of that, yeah, you know, I have a bunch of different foods, a bunch of different snacks. I do have uh, guilty pleasures um, like brownies, uh, cookies, things like that, but I try to avoid them as much as possible. It's a little difficult now um, just because you want some comfort food, especially when you're cooped up in the apartment all day. Um, but this is a time for me to experiment with new recipes, um, learn more about different uh, nutritional facts, watch YouTube videos, read up on different studies. Um, and also I, I enjoy doing intermittent fasting, which I think has a lot of health benefits. You know, all this is not nutritional advice. I'm by no means uh, an expert, uh, but I personally think it's really important, especially for my job, but also for anyone in general who wants to live a healthy lifestyle. And so that's what works for me. If you want to come on over, I'll show you the fridge. Uh, it's not the cleanest, um, but it's what works for us. So I got a lot of Costco products in here. Like I mentioned, I got some kimchi, um, avocado oil, uh, mayo, 
garlic, of course. You know, this is the, um, the yogurt I was talking about earlier. Uh, I love it. It's healthy. It has great cultures in it for your, for your stomach. Um, bone broth is essential, especially if you're ever feeling sick. This is my go-to. We make different soups with it. You can drink it straight, uh, warm it up. That's what works for, for us. Um, sparkling water, of course. Um, but for the most part, there's nothing too interesting. I, I know you want to see like cool uh, fridges that you see on cribs, but this is what we're working with. And then we have the, um, the frozen section here. And so, like I was mentioning, we have a lot of different stuff. We have, um, you know, frozen berries, frozen, frozen vegetables. You know, I think those things are great just because when they're flash frozen like that, um, you know, they're, they're frozen at peak nutritional value. So the profile's the best, um, uh, but let's see what else we got. We got scallops, um, zucchini spirals. We got, we freeze the bread so it lasts longer. So we don't have to go to the store as much. We got rice cauliflower. Um, so probably not the tastiest things, uh, but it works for us, like I said. So that's uh, the question. Uh, that's the, the tour of the kitchen for now. Let's look at some, some questions. Someone was asking me, you know, what's your favorite thing to cook? There's so many different uh, things that we like to try. And by no means, I'm an expert. Um, but I think, you know, something we really like is, is sockeye salmon. You know, we'll pair that with cauliflower rice um, to try to keep the carbs down also do a lot of spinach, a lot of asparagus. Um, but like I said, if you guys have any recs, um, I'd love to hear them. But we also really like scallops and that's kind of been our go-to during you know, quarantine or at least staying home. Um, you know, we love to cook scallops. Uh, the frozen ones from Costco have worked really well. So uh, I definitely recommend it if you like seafood. Um, we also like to have um, you know, grass-fed, grass-finished steak, different things of that nature. Um, but again, that's uh, our personal preference and you know that's that's what works for us let's see if we have any other kitchen questions so i think that hit all the, the kitchen questions so we'll head on over to this glorious uh bookshelf here um so these are these are some awesome cleats that if you've ever seen my instagram you've seen before um these are cleats that we made with adidas tackle kids cancer and new york red bulls and so we were able to design some really cool uh, cleats with some kids sit down with them for the day and then you know wear them during warm-up and so I, I didn't want to wear them during the game because I didn't want to mess them up um, but these are like one of one custom and you know for a great cause so I keep these around um, this is my this is the captain's armband I wore for my first ever game at, officially as captain and so the funny thing is that the captain's armband didn't come in the, the one for the 2020 season didn't come in on time so I wore this one and I was able to keep it after the game. So, you know, maybe it's a little superstitious, but gave it a wash and now, you know, I keep it here because that was a, an awesome moment for me. Um, some other things that I like to do in my free time, I try to read as well. Um, you know, some, some books that uh, I like, one that I finished that's pretty relevant is uh, The Captain Class, um, you know, about dynasties and, you know, the, the leadership qualities that those captains had. Uh, I'm reading uh, Bones and Dove right now. It's a big book, but getting through it, uh, it's, it's good so far, but this was a book that was recommended to me by a lot of people. Of course, I have the board games too, you know, like Blank Slate, um, Catan, of course. Um, so let's see what else we got. We got catchphrase, code names. So again, any recs you guys have, definitely send them my way. Um, so we'll keep moving here. I got a wine rack. I got this for my girlfriend for Valentine's Day this year. The only caveat was I was away at preseason. So I bought all these bottles before we left, which is like a week or two before. Um, we drank a, a few of the bottles during uh, this time. But uh, then I also had this order from Amazon. Amazon got this. They are pretty, uh, got, this, got this to our apartment building pretty quickly. And the only catch was she had to build it. So this is built by my girlfriend. Pretty impressive stuff. We got the cheese board. Uh, for when we have guests over. So we love having people over. Uh, we try to do that as often as possible. Um, so that's a little backstory on the wine rack. Again, if you have, I'm trying to educate myself more on wine. I don't know too much, but if you guys have any recs, definitely, again, send them my way. So now we're going to head over to the, to the living room. And so this is where we spend a majority of our time watching shows. Um, I like to play video games with my teammates. Uh, that's probably one of the best parts of my day, I think. What we miss the most about uh, the season is just being able to hang out with each other. You know, the team meals, the locker room banter, traveling together. 
Um, so definitely shout out to the boys. Miss those guys. Uh, but this is my headset. This is what I rock when, when we're playing, you know, Fortnite or something. So, yeah, you guys can screen capture that for the memes. Uh, but this is what I, I'm working with um, now. And, you know, in terms of, of shows, I saw a few questions earlier about shows. We've watched some pretty dark shows uh, these last couple of weeks. We watched Hunters on Amazon Prime, and we just finished Euphoria on HBO Go. And both of those were, were really good shows, but um, they definitely are a little dark, so I'd be careful. One thing that we just love to watch casually is definitely Food Network. Um, we always have that on. It's just therapeutic. It's calming. Um, you know, another show that we want that we watch if we want to keep it light is Modern Family. I know, so cliche, but we like it. We think it's funny, and uh, you know, that's something easy that we can throw on. You know, just go on Hulu or something like that. So let me grab the phone again and see if we have any questions um, for this specifically. Great. Okay, a lot of questions are coming in. So I will hit all these questions. I think at the end because I think we're in, in good rhythm now. Um, but moving right along, as you could probably tell, this is the, the kitchen table. Um, this is just obviously where we spend time, you know, not only eating, but just talking, catching up. I like to do my work here as well. You know, different things that I'm interested. I love, um, you know, learning new things, obviously. Honestly, I watch a lot of YouTube trying to better understand topics that are, are a little confusing to me, and now's been the perfect time to, to work on that. So I spend a lot of time here as well. So that's my apartment. I hope that was fun for you guys. You know, now I want to sit down, do a little Q&A, hit all these questions. Again, thank you for bearing with us. I know this is all new. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Again, we'll try to keep it as fun as possible. I'll try to hit as many questions as you have. Uh, but that was my apartment, so why don't we take a seat now? All right, here we go. Let me move this. I hope you guys can see me. Red Bull team, if you're watching this and you have any suggestions, just definitely text me. Um, so my favorite show during quarantine, we hit that. Um, you know, what are my favorite things to cook? We hit that a little bit. Again, I, I love to cook. I'm still learning as, as, a, as we go here. But, um, you know, we also use the Instant Pot a lot, which kind of raises our game because it helps us cook dishes we otherwise wouldn't be able to. We use a, a YouTube channel. Again, I, I keep talking about our YouTube. YouTube channel called Pressure Love Cooking. Um, which we find really funny and, and fun. So uh, we enjoy doing that. Um, that kind of helps us, um, you know, branch out from our, our normal dishes. Um, most memorable opponent in MLS. Uh, so for, for those that don't know, uh, you know, my first big uh, career start was in LA in 2016. And that was a, a really cool moment for me because I was playing, I play as a six for those of you guys, for those of you that don't know. And so I was actually playing against Steven Gerrard in that game. And he was my favorite player growing up. It's a big reason why I always wanted to play for, for Red Bull, my hometown team. You know, I love what, what he brought to, to the table for Liverpool, the way that he led that team, you know, in his, in his hometown. Um, that was always really admirable for me. So I loved watching him. Uh, so it was pretty cool to, to play against him and, you know, I remember talking to him heading into the tunnel at halftime, which obviously you shouldn't really do, but he was really cool about it. And, you know, I asked him about his jersey and I probably jumped the gun a little bit, but he was super kind, you know, exactly what um, I thought he would be. And, you know, I've heard great things about him. Um, but to answer your question, that was, that was one of the, the highlights of my career so far, because that's also the game I scored my, my first goal. Uh, that was in the second half. And, that was just a really cool moment for me. You know, LA is such a historic team. It was a, it was a huge game. I was super nervous before the game, but um, it ended up working out well. So I'm, I'll always be thankful for, for that experience. Um, my favorite indoor hobby, it's tough. Uh, there's a lot of things that I like to do during the day to keep myself busy. You know, again, I, I like to be in a routine. That's what helps me. Um, you know, it's best for my mind. So I like to work out. Uh, I like to do that. That helps me feel really good about my day. It helps me stay in shape. And then, you know, hopefully when MLS gets going again, I'll, I'll be in the best shape possible. Um, but other things I like to do, uh, you know, I mentioned it. I like cooking. Um, sometimes I love just sitting on, on the couch and watching TV, honestly, you know, after a hard workout, a hard day. Um, you know, there's nothing better than that. Again, playing video games with my friends right now is definitely a highlight because, you know, we love to have that banter again and, 
you know, that brings us uh, back together in a sense. Um, moving on here, let's see. Um, so how does it feel to be captain of the Red Bulls? Obviously, it's a, it's a huge honor. Uh, you know, it's, it's not something, um, you know, I ever thought about too much, but it's obviously a dream come true, and it's awesome for my family. I know it, it means a lot to my parents, and so in turn, it, it means a lot to me. And so every, um, every day that I, I get to, you know, walk out onto the training field or lead the team in those two games, it, it was a huge honor for me, but also a huge responsibility. And, you know, I want to do whatever's possible to, to help the team win ultimately and ultimately and you know I want to take care of the guys this is obviously a, a different time you know something we've never experienced and so my my role as captain is has shifted from the sporting side to you know really the health and wellness side and trying to keep the guys updated about what's going on in the world and especially in our area New York and New Jersey is an area that's getting hit pretty hard right now um, but I think the guys have been great they've been positive I think that's the most we can do and we've stayed in touch and I think that that's been the best part you know like I said earlier social interaction is is one of the most important parts of life and so for us to continue to talk whether that's on video games or when we do workouts on on the computer um, as a team when we have uh, film on the computer in our positions or as a team I think that that's all really important another fun initiative we started is you know having three guys on a, on a, a FaceTime call in, you know once a week so we rotate those groups but it's just a way for us all to catch up and, um, you know, reconnect. And I think that that's been really important and really worthwhile for us. But we're always trying to find ways to keep things fresh. Again, because you have to think about it, soccer is such a unique sport. We have guys from all over the world. We have a lot of young guys on our team that are alone in New Jersey. And so it's really important to stay in touch with them. They've been great th through this whole process, very understanding and, uh, you know, very mature. So that's been great to hear. I know that's a long-winded answer, but, you know, we'll move on to uh, the next question. Let's see what we got. Do I have a favorite teammate of all time? Uh, it's really tough. Um, you know, the first, uh, the first guys that come to mind, you know, it's hard to choose just one, right? But the first guys that come to mind are, uh, you know, the guys I play, that I talk about playing video games with right now. And, you know, we, we never played video games too much before, but lately, you know, we have so much free time and it's a way for us to talk that that's been really important. And so, my squad in Fortnite has been Aaron Long, uh, Tim Parker, Alex Mule. Those guys are great. But the list goes on and on. You know, Danny Royer, uh, Mark Shikoski, we all live in the same building, so we spent a lot of time um, with each other as well. Um, but there's been so many great guys. That's what I love about the club the most is the culture in the locker room. And, you know, I obviously haven't experienced other locker rooms, but for me, um, you know, talking to guys that uh, have experience playing for other teams, you know, they have nothing but great things to say about – the culture of our group and so that's something that I try not to take for granted despite uh, never having played for for another team um, you know another good question where is your favorite uh, away stadium to play at it's tough um, there's so many awesome stadiums in MLS now it's the league has come such a far uh, a long way and you know I love uh, playing in Atlanta you know they they always have a lot of fans they hate uh, they, they hate us I would say uh, we have a lot of great games. Um, there's a lot of respect for for each for each other. You know, there's mutual respect amongst teams. But you know, I really enjoy playing uh, in Atlanta with that crowd. You know, I'd also say Portland um, is very similar. We've had a lot of success there, so that uh, kind of plays in into that. Um, but it's a beautiful city, a, a beautiful stadium. Uh, they have a great team as well, so the games are always super competitive. But uh, you know, especially with the renovation that they've just done. Um, you know, that was a huge game for us last season, and so I have great memories there. Obviously, LAFC is a special place. We've only played there once, but that was a, a really exciting game for everyone. Unfortunately, we, we got the wrong result, but, um, you know, that's a, a club that is obviously on the rise. They have great players. They have great uh, fans, and the stadium is, uh, you know, electric when you play there. So they have really hit the ground running, and so I think that that helps with their atmosphere. And, you know, if I had to pick three places, I think, uh, you know, those, those are them. Um, let's see. Did, did I have a, a mentor when I was younger? You know, I, I had a lot of people that I was able to look up to, a lot of people that supported me, you know, a lot of people that um, sacrificed a lot of their time to help uh, get me to different trainings and coach me and things like that. But obviously, and this might sound cliche, but my parents have been great throughout my whole career. 
for me. They never put pressure on me. That's what worked for me. Um, you know, they were always very uh, helpful. They were always very supportive. They would drive me all over the place. You know, honestly, I don't know how they did it. So, you know, I've always looked up to my parents and, you know, especially during this time, you know, I'm, the thing I, I worry most is about their health and safety and well-being. And so I'm always on the phone with them. But, you know, I obviously have a special place in my heart for them. And so um, growing up, they were always uh, my mentor, always my role models. And, you know, they're a big reason why I am, uh, you know, where I am today. And, you know, that's the special part about playing for this club is being able to play uh, in front of them week in, week out. They're, they're watching games on MSG. They're at the stadium. They've been season ticket holders ever since I signed. So I'm really grateful for, for their support. Uh, let's see what else. Hmm. Um, what's a normal day like during the season? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, normally I wake up at 8 a.m. I'm out the door at 8.30. It takes about 50 minutes to an hour to get to training. I personally like to go uh, drive to training on my own just because it gives me some flexibility with my schedule. You know, I also like to listen to podcasts on the way to training and, again, try to stay on, uh, stay on top of the most recent news, uh, learn about new uh, issues, learn about new subjects, uh, try to better ed educate myself. So, um, you know, I, I like to listen to podcasts. And so I get to listen to exactly the podcast I want. Um, then we get to training around 9.30. Um, you know, we have breakfast, which is great. And then around 10, we, you know, guys can do different work with uh, the chiropractor, with the, with the team trainers, with the fitness coach. Um, to prep for training, but we usually have video at, at 10 and from 10 to 10 30 ish, depending on how long things go, uh, you know, we'll watch video as a team, whether that's on our past game, whether that's on training or whether that's uh, scouting our next opponent, you know, from there, we'll probably be on the field around 11 and then 11 to 12, 15 ish, you know, we'll have training and it's one thing to the next. It's so well organized. The staff is out there really or, uh, early preparing the field, you know, getting all the different exercises set up so that we can just uh, be very efficient. And then after training around 12, 15, 12, 30, you know, you can do some extra work outside or you can head to the gym where there's always gym work that's available. You can get massages with um, our masseuse or you can work with the, again, the team trainers and, and work on any nagging uh, injuries. Uh, from there, you know, we have the hot tub, the, the cold tub, which guys really enjoy to again, recover. Um, and get ready for the next day. And then we have lunch and, you know, guys finish at different times, but, you know, lunch is always a good time to catch up and, um, you know, just update each other on each other's lives. Uh, so that's always a, a fun time. And then from there, you know, you're usually home by, depending on your schedule after training, you're usually home by 2, 2.33. Um, and you have the rest of the day to, to relax. And, you know, I don't do much. I try to rest my body as, mu as much as possible. It's obviously a really long season, so you want to do whatever is necessary to, to take care of yourself, eat right, uh, recover right, um, sleep well. That's a, that's a huge uh, portion of it. So that's our day in a, in a nutshell. Uh, let's see. So many good questions here. Um, how many soccer balls do I own? Yeah, again, Adidas has been great. They send me um, you know, a bag of soccer balls that I'm able to use uh, after uh, the season ends. You know, after the season, I like to, to take some time away from the game. I like to travel, uh, see the world. Last year, I had some great experiences in, in uh, Asia. I went to Japan. I also went to Rome. And so that was really fun. Uh, makes you appreciate uh, different cultures. And, uh, you know, when I return from training, uh, from traveling, I like to, to train as much as possible, get in shape, uh, try to hit the ground running, try to be sharp in preseason, um, you know, because that's ultimately what's going to help me improve as a player and, and help the team as much as possible. So I'm getting the, the signal from, from the media team that we're wrapping up here, but I just want to thank you guys again um, for tuning in. Again, this is a new experience for all of us. Uh, the world's changed so much recently. Um, you know, but if, if you're here, you know, take care of each other, take care of your community. Um, obviously we're in uncharted uh, territory and, we have to take care of each other and, you know, mental health is no joke. So continue to check in with loved ones. Don't hesitate to send a text, a call. You never know how much that could mean to someone. I'd like to thank Red Bull, um, New York Red Bulls for, for how they've handled the situation. I think they've done a great job. The media team's done an excellent job. I think this is a, a great idea. You know, hopefully this gets the ball rolling with the virtual appearances, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I wish you guys nothing but the best. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay home. 
All right, see you guys.